Check me out, I'm on a cow! Welcome back to Dynamite Heady. Previously, we were in a shooter area, and we fought a baby's head. I don't know why. I think it has to do with Treasure's founders? Worked for Konami, and they had to do lots of shooter games. And that was their little tribute. But here we are in Paradise! A.K.A. Hedy's in Wonderland. Yep, that's a reference to Alice in Wonderland. We have a bonus stage here, but I don't want to mess with it. There's absolutely no enemies to fight around here. Just, uh, Meowth's cousins with coins. What the heck? This is not a cow at all, it's some kind of horrible abomination. Destroy it! That's right, destroy all defective cows. They don't belong in this world. Fino birds are also forbidden! What are you doing there, Bino? I don't suffer you. And here's Geisha Bot 3000. In the English version, it was just a regular robot and it didn't have this dialogue. They were just like, yeah! Hedy's in paradise and a, a robot shows up. And I guess it's scary? Oh well, she's pleading that we go away because the castle's not here. So we should go where the castle isn't. We're not fooled and neither is Fingy. She has keys. We gotta stop this puppet so we can put keys into that backpack thing she's got. She's not dangerous if she lands on you. But if she tries to sack it punch you, yeah, that's dangerous. The whole point is to get the backpack pointing towards Fingy so she can throw one of the keys she stole off us. Just like that. It, the arm is only dangerous when it goes out, and it comes back. And sometimes... Fingy might miss, too, and the key goes flying off screen, she goes chasing after it. Otherwise, she's just gonna do all the damage for this boss. Man, it's kind of boring for me. I'm doing all the footwork. Oh, come on, you can make that, just turn the other way! Jeez. Sometimes she'll just jump wherever she feels like jumping. Alright, got a turner. Victory! We destroyed a Geisha bot! So, uh, Fingy, uh, we're out of keys, so I'm out of one-liners. Uh, do you just want to go out sometime? Come on. We could go eat at Demonic Flaming Skull Castle in the background! Uh, producer, we we broke reality, is that okay? Keep rolling? Alright. The keys were necessary to open the entrance. We took the red pill. Oh, who didn't see this coming? She was a girl in a Sega game. She was gonna get kidnapped eventually. Now it's time to fight evil guy Shabbat! Get out of here, Bo. I know what the weak spot is. You're not gonna spoil it for everybody else. Now, Eva Geishabot is very dangerous. Unless you know how to fight it. By the way, don't hit Fingy when it's holding her like that. You'll hurt yourself. Oh hey, a head case! Just what I needed. Yeah! Sometimes, this Geishabot will be able to pull, uh, Bino off the screen too, and you can kill him. This time, she grabbed a head case. And she could also grab other head cases too. It has a, a warhead on it. And never ever hit the trap head. Please avoid trap head at all costs. No, she threw away the head case. I gotta get that back. You can fight her without the empty head, but I don't recommend it. And also you can throw off her aim by using your head, like this. Only the body could be injured. So, if she aims for your head, that's fine. That was Bino. Nobody cared. Yeah, he appeared twice in this episode. Oh, you can't grab anything with Fingy. Use the other claw. There we go. And now I will use that warhead to great effect. Or to great effect of dying. Yeah, that claw can't hit you. I want the other thing. That! Unfortunately... This one doesn't give me invulnerability, so it's dangerous for me. I want the other head. The other head that keeps me safe. No! Aim up aim up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. 
Alright, I need to get it to throw away that other head case and get bring, bring the other head case back. The good head case. The head case we know and love. Shoot that claw and get rid of that thing. There we go. Oh. It wasn't off-screen enough. I gotta learn how to time my head better. Like this! The whole point of this fight is getting that empty head, and then it's extremely easy, as long as you don't hit the trap head, too. That's dangerous. I'll tell you right away what the trap head does. Trap head slows you down and you become a sitting duck. There we go. Invincibility for me, none for you. So now this boss is gonna get a little little tiring and boring and and stuff. I was afraid I was gonna hit Fingy there, but nope. Ah, you can't hit me, can you? No, you cannot. I am made out of... glass? Uh, scan lines? I don't know what I'm made out of. Alright. One more hit and this robot should be dead. And then we could move on to the final level. That castle in the background. Well, I can't really feel sorry for Fingy because she used us. I know she apologized and all that, but she still kind of used us. She could have told us about the keys ahead of time, and I would have been like, okay. And we killed a Geisha bot. The reason why they changed it is just like Rebecca. Yeah. No, oh, no continue. And I think that's the last chance of us getting a continue, too. Oh, well, that stinks. Alright, let's just cash in our points. And go to the hardest part of this entire game. Yeah, I don't like it one bit. Where did Fingy go, anyway? She should have been back by now. Yeah, oh well. Maruyama! What did you do with Fingy? How did you get your body back? Where did you find your body? He's still alive. After we blew his head off several robots... And now, welcome to Stage Fight! Actually, in the English version, this is called the Rocketeer. Get it? It's, it's another one of those puns. Pinhead is the best way to go here, but if you feel daring, use the Spike Head and get those se se secret bonus points. Uh, get the 500 points for the secret bonus point, I mean. Yeah, they're kind of hard to get in this level. A lot of the secret bonus points are going to be in demonic areas now, because the difficulty is going to spike. I just want to stay the pinhead for most of this part. The heck with the 500 points. Secret bonus points don't even do anything anyway. The whole point of this level is dodging those rockets. They give you a fair warning. And if you try ducking down in here by using your spike head to hide your head on the roof, and hide your body in here, it ain't gonna work. Only the pinhead could hide in these little holes. Yeah, they're unforgiving like that. See that? I was too slow! My folly is I got crushed by Rocket. Yeah, their folly is getting crushed by Rocket. Everybody is having folly today. This kind of reminds me of a... what was it? A Shinobi level. I could have sworn they had some of these dodged or rockets by hiding in alcoves things. I think it was Shinobi X. Oh well, we got through there decently. Now welcome to Missile Base! Actually, it was called Illegal Weapon 3 in the English version. Yeah, it was a lethal weapon thing. This, I'm just gonna tank it. There's a whole timing thing involved, but I think it's a lot easier just going at it. Heads of Fury! Tiny Heads of Fury! I beat you with my tiny head! <laughs> that's... that's the best way to deal with it. Other way is long and annoying. Welcome to the Radical Party! There's a Radical Party going on in here. Can you tell? Use these guys as platforms and kill Anubis! So you could get a... Yeah, you could get that. A Jelly Bean! This place was called... what was it called again? Fun Forgiven! Actually, that was the name of it. It was a play on Unforgiven, and also I think it was the... the American programmers just saying, Hey, are you having fun yet? 
well, you're forgiven for now. Don't do it again, though. Yes, those platforms will crush you, and yes, the difficulty has spiked. It's very difficult from now on. We can't get up that passageway yet, so we're gonna have to fight this guy. Giant sun-looking guy. Secret bonus point here? Hit the health three times. And now you can pound on him. The only damage you can do? Hit these numbers into him. And don't do that. Oh. I actually kind of wanted that. That's the sleepy head. That'll help me heal. You can get hurt by those balls, too. Yeah, luckily getting hit by the numbered balls doesn't do that much damage. And that thing, too. Alright, I want to hit him with the 8 ball. You see the very tiny one? Hit him with that. Makes this really easy, but it's also really hard to hit it. There we go. Nice and easy. Now, give me that sleepy head. Thank you. Yeah, now we turned it to, uh... He actually kind of looks like abstract art from the Earthbound and Mother games. Look at him. He looks like a techno-abstract art. I don't like techno-abstract art. Get it away! It's just as tacky, with a little bit of technology on it. I was trying to avoid that thing. This is my folly. Here. Have multiple heads. They could pierce through things. Uh oh. I should heal. Yeah. That sleepy head is, works pretty quickly, so it's really good for quick healing, too. If you do it in bursts and know how to cancel. Yeah! Take that. That's what you get for pretending to be the sun. And you have to get close to him to kill him. Outright. Otherwise, he will explode, and you will feel bad about yourself. Well, we need this thing to go up this passageway of buzzsaws. There's little platforms right here. You couldn't really tell. In fact, I didn't know about them at first. That thing. And this thing. And don't shoot? They mean it. Don't shoot! It's a trap head. This is what trap head looks like. That symbol up there actually... I think it's a symbol for Buddha or something. This is a Buddha head. You can't do anything with it. You can't cancel it. You can't throw it. And you're really, really slow. Alright. The best way to kill these things is by hitting it in the pot. But what happens if you don't hit it in the pot? That! That happens! He throws their head back at you. He is a mean and awful plant. Kill him with the pot. Just like that. Oh, don't shoot? Yeah. One of these boxes that say don't shoot will actually give you a secret bonus point instead of pain. I haven't found the one that doesn't give me pain. So I'm not going to show you. But down here is an extra life. We're going to need it in this area. And also over here is a jelly bean. We'll need that too. And now you see the idea of this little room here is we gotta use all these hangmen and launch ourselves. And you're gonna have to time pretty well. Or you'll get hurt by spikes. I kinda have problems with this room. Yeah, lots and lots of problems. Make sure the hangman is completely sticking out of the wall before you try to grab it. Oh, come on. Sync up. Please? For me? Subu play? Okay, he doesn't understand French. Ark! I don't like you! Hangman! Why have you betrayed me so? Goodness gracious. Am I going to die in the spike room? Yes, probably will. I probably will. One more spiking for me and I'm done for and I'll have to do this all over again. The game is unforgiving at this point! Alright, come on, please. Please let me live. I lived! Oh, thank goodness. I don't know how to get those prizes down there. But welcome to Reverse World. We're now reverse platforming because we're going in the other direction. Whole idea of this stage? Flip the stage over and over again. I could have sworn I've seen this somewhere before, too. This mechanic. I think it was a, a Mega Man game. Don't get killed and look for a sleepyhead wherever you can find it. You're going to need it in this section. And also, we're going to have to use the flipping to move these blocks wherever they need to go. Oh man, that guy's going to give me problems, isn't he? You see him there? 
I didn't flip the world, so he's not giving me problems yet. But he will. Oh, yes, he will. Look at- Problems! Problem! I can't shoot him. Problem! I died. Alright, next time on Dynamite Heady, we're gonna try and die a little less. Fat chance! <laughs> this this stage hates me. Good night, folks. <laughs>